Hey y'all, it's Janira Rose of JaniraRose.com, back with a new tutorial, and today I am teaching you how to spruce up those mannequin heads. You use them often, why not make them fabulous? And I got the idea from Michelle of my invisible chrysalis. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need is a styrofoam mannequin head. You can get this at your local beauty supply store for about $3 or so. The next thing you're going to need is a styrofoam bowl because you don't want to mess up any of your good china. Now you're going to need Mod Podge, which you can find at your local craft store or at Target. It's about $6 and it's an iridescent glue that allows you to add any kind of jewels or glitter. As I just stated, you're now going to need some glitter or some jewels. You can find those kind of things at your local dollar store or craft store. You'll also need some paint brushes, and I found these at my local dollar store for a dollar. I think it was like four in a pack. Now we're really getting somewhere. So you're going to need you a mannequin stand, and you can find this at your local beauty supply or Amazon, and you want it to be adjustable so that you're able to manipulate the head. You will need newspaper. I repeat, you will need newspaper. And I was lucky enough to find a wonderful paper that has Mama Tina and Gucci on it. Perfect. Now you wanna go about spreading your newspaper. You wanna cover all of your surface completely because you do not want any mistakes on your good furniture. I don't know about y'all, but I can't afford that on my good stuff. Now you wanna go about setting up your mannequin stand. This space right here is where the table will go. And the screw at the bottom is where you will tighten the stand onto the table. You wanna make sure it's as tight as possible because you don't want any mistakes and you definitely don't want your mannequin head to fly off in the middle of decorating. Now that we secured that mannequin stand, it's time to secure that mannequin head and get ready for the fun part, decorating. So now you want to pour that Mod Podge into your styrofoam bowl as much as you think you'll need. You could be a little bit generous, but don't get carried away. Now you want to go in with your paintbrush and add the Mod Podge to an area of your mannequin head. Right now we'll just start with the face and I'm going to do two coats of this. This is where you get crunk. So you pretty much just go in with your glitter, you sprinkle over top of it as much as you want to do. I started off with mixing both, it didn't turn out well as you can see. So once you see the final product, you'll see how I did one side all silver glitter and the front is all of the rose gold. Don't be wasting product now. So scoop that stuff on up and put that stuff up on there. Cause stuff is too expensive, it's too high now to be wasting. Now this is the part where you can really get loose and get creative. You ultimately have to look at this bald head every day, so why not make it a fabulous, glittery, vivacious bald head? So I love to see what you guys come up with. Your last and final step is to seal all of your hard work and provide a smooth surface. So I'm going to use Krylon's Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze, which is a tongue twister. But you can find this at your local Target, Walmart, or craft store. And this just allows for you to be able to put your hair on and off of your mannequin head without pulling off some of your good stuff. This is my final look. We got a little rose gold in the front, as I said, a little silver glitter in the back. My girl done ordered some hair, but you know how them vendors do, so it ain't here yet. So we gonna hook her up real nice with this scarf, cause she going to the club, and you know she got to get there before 11, or she fitting to pay, and she wasn't planning on doing that tonight, cause she don't get paid till next Friday. So we gonna hook her up first. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. If you decide to recreate this mannequin look, make sure you find me somewhere on social media at Janira Rose on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr. I'm all over the web. So 
come talk to me follow me if you like this video thumbs it up check out my previous videos and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you know when your girl got something new for you have a great weekend bye